It's a good thing I caught you. I'll make an example out of you. But I'm... That's enough out of you. <laughs> he said like one syllable. It was like, that's enough of you. Let's blast the joke. So there's this channel on YouTube called The British Path, -ay. I don't know how to pronounce it, The British Path, and it's pretty much just a YouTube channel based around uploading uh, content uh, that they recorded a very long time ago, like a very, very long time ago. Now, Path -ay News is a uh, company, uh, they actually operated, they did the news, kind of like Keemstar just back uh, in, in the early 1900s, and... They have a lot of older videos, and it's so interesting watching these videos because everything's so different. And I saw this video that I don't think was made by the British Pathé, but uh, it's pretty funny, okay? And it's called How to Discipline Children in 1947. It's just so different. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, this video pretty much takes place in a classroom, as you can clearly see, and the environment's completely different. It's just hilarious seeing how much it's actually changed over time. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting. So, today's video, I'm actually going to be reacting to How to Discipline Children in 1947. Uh, no, you can still use this. Uh, if there's any parents watching this video, uh, that would be flipping terrifying. Jesus Christ. If you're a parent and you're watching this video, uh, you need a life. Oh, my God. Uh, you need a hobby. Jesus, but we don't care that this video was made in 1947. I want to learn how to discipline children. Me and John have 73 children, so let's learn. Ha 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 ha. I can't wait to see this video. It's going to be so flipping funny. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a like. Also, be sure to leave me a comment. I don't know what you could comment, but comment saying, ha ha Cameron, I laughed a lot at this video. It was a good one. That'll help my morale. That will appease me. Is that used correctly? I don't flipping know. Everything's sucking! But yeah, it's really interesting, this channel is. So if you have any free time, if you if you can't be, if you've got nothing to do, if you've got nothing to do, just watch some of these videos. It's ridiculous. Right, let's get reacting. What's this called? Hang on a minute. Devastation in Pyongyang, 1950. Well, they could have put any date there and it would still be relevant, lol. Right, anyway, let's get watching then. Oh god, this better not be boring by the way, like this video that I'm recording now could turn out crap. Let's hope that doesn't occur. Okay, I know the audio quality and video quality is not particularly great, but that kind of adds to the charm of the video, I think. So it's called Maintaining Classroom Discipline. Hmm. And it's uh, by a book company. You know it's a good video when it's made by a book company. This video that's been recommended, PSA, The Trouble with Women. Oh my god. Now one thing you'll notice, uh, which, which is just funny to hear, uh, is how everyone speaks so much more intrinsically, if that makes any sense. You'll hear it, okay? The vast majority of behavior problems in the classroom involve minor breaches of discipline. Yeah, like getting a gun out and shooting everyone. Minor breaches of discipline. These incidents frequently originate in the classroom situation itself and are within the control of the teacher. Something that's really weird to think is all these people in this video, I can pretty much guarantee are dead. Like, all of these people died. Like, they lived their whole life. You will never be able to meet them, ever. They're just dead. Jesus Christ. It's just weird, okay? Like, they've lived their whole life. What the hell? Discipline our problems in the classroom. Are simple. <laughs> that furious throw, though. Ah! Like, Jesus, that was good. Mr. Grimes, mathematics teacher, is displeased with the progress of his ninth grade class in mathematics. You see what low grade you made on your weekly mathematics test? Weekly. Weekly, are you mad? <laughs> well, I know this was recorded in 1947, but that's that's harsh. Okay, weekly math test. What the hell? Okay. You see what low grade you made on your weekly mathematics test? More than half of you failed. Most of those who passed just got by. Nobody had 100%. This is the poorest class I've had in a long, long time. You see, I've heard so many teachers say that before. <laughs> like, I swear that's like one of those cliche things that teachers, you know, say. Oh, you guys, uh, as you can see by your test results, no one did well. 
you're the worst class I've ever had. <laughs> like, I swear, so many teachers have said that. And that's not because, you know, I'm normally within dumb classes. It's just because I think that's kind of like a tactic to shock everyone. Whoa. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting how it, uh, that, that tactic was still evident back in 1947. Most of you have no foundation at all. Now, the trouble's with your attitude. You don't pay enough attention in class. I can't wait to see the comments of this video. Oh, look! That's Cameron's long lost brother! <laughs> like, no joke. I have had so many comments on my channel just flipping, trying to say that I look like someone. Like, it's so confusing. Like, loads of people say I look like Roadshaw, which I, I suppose makes a bit of sense. But then someone said, like, Dan Howell. Uh, oh, yeah, there's that other one, like, Troy Sivan or something. I don't know. Like, so many people were saying that I look like other people. Even though I don't, okay? It triggers me. You don't know what the word study means. You haven't the slightest idea. Don't you realize that mathematics is an important subject? I tell you right now that unless you get over your lazy habits and come up to the standards I've set for this class, many of you will have the pleasure of repeating this course next semester. Well, what is it? A note from Dr. Williams. Alright, that's all. I have to leave for a few minutes. I love the acting, it's really good. Uh, when does he actually teach us how to, uh, you know, discipline children? Because that's what I want to learn. I want to learn how to discipline children. My advice would be just get a gun and shoot them, that they'll behave, because they'll be dead. I'm afraid to take my paper home. He's just a sour puss. Mm. <laughs> a sour puss. What does that mean? <laughs> As opposed to a normal puss. What does that mean? The trouble is, you don't know what the word study means. You haven't the slightest idea. Oh, dry. What's this? Oh, what kind of behavior do you call this? Wait a minute, you stay where you are. This is the kind of behavior I might have expected of you. All I do is leave the room for a few minutes, and what do I find? Confusion, disorder. And you, what were you doing? I was just going... Going to what? Throw the eraser, I suppose. It's a good thing I caught you. I'll make an example out of you. But I... That's enough out of you. <laughs> he said, like, one syllable. It was like, that's enough of you. I love some of the comments on this video. Literally just complaining about teachers, like how they are now in comparison to how they were then. And it's just so stupid. Like, look at these comments. They're so pathetic. I learned more about ratios in 15 seconds than I did in our teacher's two hour long overcomplicated speech. I love these people who make like a great flipping deal out of nothing. Like you didn't learn more, <laughs> you know, in that 15 second video. Like that doesn't make sense. Like, I don't get why people complain about that all the time. Leave this room and report to the principal's office immediately. Well, hurry up. Don't take all day. <laughs> Who did that? What? <laughs> Do what? I don't get it. <laughs> all right, since you think it's so funny. The whole class can stay in for 45 minutes this afternoon. Then you'll see how funny it is. Remember, the whole class is to report back here at 4 o'clock. Wow, school ended at 4? Jesus. That's probably why people are, uh, you know, people were more intelligent back then. If you listen to the words that they use, most people genuinely were, like, more intelligent. Uh, generally, sorry, not genuinely. That's probably because they went to school for longer. Or maybe school started off later, which, I mean, would have been a lot better. <laughs> Where were we? I came from. I got a newspaper out to do. I got football practice. He can go fly a kite. Mm. I have a piano lesson. I can't listen. I think he's horrible. Stop that whispering. Who dropped that book? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who dropped that book? <laughs> Jesus! This teacher's strict. Wait till you're quiet. 
Just gives a shogun out. Now you're going to be quiet, kids. Two detentions. Three detentions. Leave this room and don't come back until you're ready to apologize to me. This guy is so tall. <laughs> That's great. What is this line? <laughs> it's just amazing. Well, this is going to get us nowhere. Maybe we'd better go back to see if we can't find some of the causes of this undesirable learning situation. Just what was Mr. Grimes' purpose in making such statements as these? This is the poorest class I've had in a long, long time. Hmm, this is hardly the way to win friends or influence people. You, don't you see, I actually disagree with that. I think shocking people really makes people change. Like, for example, if a teacher goes, Oh, you're all crap! <laughs> like, people are going to want to prove the teacher wrong. And I think that actually helps. I don't think it's a very, um, you know, good way to go about it for the teacher. But for a class that's completely, you know, hopeless, in which all the kids are just pricks, you know, they kind of deserve it. I don't know what the word study means. You haven't the slightest idea. The trouble is... You don't know what the word study means. You haven't the slightest idea. <laughs> this reaction is the answer. Now take this. It's a good thing I caught you. I'll make an example out of you. Oh, come now, Mr. Grimes. By taking it out on the boy, aren't you covering up a symptom of your own deficiency? Wait, is he talking about his dick size? I, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> like, some of the vocabulary that they use is so complicated that it just doesn't make any sense. I think there's actually a term for it. I forgot. You should have shut the door quicker, so it pushed him out of the room. That would have helped. Who did that? Yes, who did? Some boy, probably. But the chances are it summarizes the feelings of the group. There is an unwritten code covering such situations. Why try to buck it? All right, since you think it's so funny. The whole class can stay in for 45 minutes this afternoon. Mass punishment is a dangerous weapon and doesn't work too well. Leave this room and don't come back until you're ready to apologize to me. Leave this room and don't come back. That would probably be a bad punishment. <laughs> it's a long way to the end of the term. When will this end? Thus, what should have developed into a sequence of pleasant and valuable learning experiences had deteriorated into a series of disagreeable and injurious personal tensions. I'm sorry, what does that even mean? Okay, right, we're gonna end this video here. It's just interesting for me uh, just to watch these older videos. I don't know if you guys find them interesting. Uh, I'll be able to notice that by your comments. Ha 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 ha. That doesn't make any sense. I just don't make any sense today. I'm just too tired. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like on this video. Otherwise, I will discipline you. Hope you guys have a good day. <laughs> and I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.